Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yah Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, elder bishops, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. Coming back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechakwadash. And this is just a, a quick lesson, uh, something I was uh, thinking about. You know, um, earlier earlier today in the day, it's uh it's towards the evening now. The sun is getting ready to go down um, and end the uh, the Shabbat. But uh, you know, this thought came to me uh, actually because of you know a thread that I was on. You know, via you know your family puts you on certain threads and stuff like that. You know, you don't respond or anything like that. But you know, your family likes to incorporate you into you know their activities or ask you you gonna meet up for thanksgiving you know you, you know how it is we all know how it is right but basically you know uh still still trusting in the shadow of egypt ultimately still uh you know because you got the midterm elections and they're still talking about uh voting okay uh jake in this world they believe that you know their their voice is going to be heard they're going to uh they're going to you know make a difference uh with the black vote they're still deceived man they're still deceived by Esau Edom now like I said I'm not going to make this long let me go right into the scripture okay Isaiah 31 and 1 woe to them that go down to Egypt for for help and Egypt is modern day America okay Egypt ancient Egypt was represented you know uh, our, our captivity okay all 12 tribes are here in ancient or I'm not ancient but uh, modern day Babylon the daughter of Babylon or you can say spiritual Egypt like it tells you in Revelation 11 and 8 their dead body shall lie in a, in a great city which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt okay so our people they still trust in Egypt they still go to uh, ultimately the so-called white man for help you know uh, for their you know their different woes within their community their different you know um, issues they have with the, the current state of this world okay and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many right they trust in Esau uh, Edom's infrastructure his technology he's there a hey, Jake is wooed and deceived by uh, the this technological advance society like the heathens are okay they they've drunken of that wine as well okay and and part of that is believing in their political system okay jake believes that okay since you know we're here this is our new home it's, it's better than being in africa shit we don't want to go to africa we don't want to go to to latin america we want to go to the middle east it's it, it's way better it's way better over here in America. At least, you know, there's a chance you can become a millionaire. You get you a good job. Okay. There's running water. There's, the, you know, plumbing and electricity. You know, all you got to do is be a hard worker and work your, your, your ass off. Okay. That's what they tell you. You just work hard, believe in yourself, and you can achieve anything. Okay. Which that's uh, totally uh, uh, wrong. If you want to be something in this world, they don't tell you when you get to one of those uh, places, those positions, you got to do all type of uh, uh, sick, satanic things to, to get that position and to maintain it. You got to sell out. You got to sell your people out. Okay, you got to coon. You got to shuck. You got to jive. You got to uh, compromise your integrity. You got to do uh, demonic acts. Uh, maybe sacrifice somebody in your family. If you want to really, really get to the top, you got to uh, beat your body up in one of these sports. You got to close your mouth, not say anything on these hard hitting issues, okay, politically, especially when it comes to your people. You can't speak out about these things, okay, unless your masters, starting with the small hats, tell you, okay, say this, say that, okay? So that word there, woe, means destruction. Because there are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. Oh, the mil oh America, we got the greatest greatest military they put themselves uh you know in uh the, the 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 sentence of we as america they believe themselves to be american we got the greatest military we got the greatest this we got the greatest that 
okay, when this, this uh, society was founded off of your blood, your ancestors' blood. Your ancestors weren't saying that. They were in a hardcore bondage, chattel slavery. Okay, and the same government that, that is now is the same government that, that had them in, in, in all type of, uh, you know, uh, uh, bad situations. But they, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Right. Uh, out of all these, these things, these, uh, you know, issues that are going on in the earth, one thing that uh, these Jakes in this society have in common, they, they seek not the Heavenly Father. Okay. They'll seek, uh, you know, uh, Jesus, the Christ. But really, their, their faith is not, they don't really have faith. In Jesus Christ, because they they still go down to the, uh, uh, the 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 polling office. They still you need to vote. You know, talking about oh yeah, you need to go into the you you got, make sure you're voting. Voting on what? Okay, voting has never got us anywhere, man. Everything in this society is really detrimental uh, to uh, uh, you Israelites. Okay, I want to bring out. Hold on, let me see. Give me a second. Let me let me bring out a, another scripture really quick. Everything in this society is detrimental to you Israelites. You still believe in Esau. You still believe in and the so-called white man. Not knowing that's going to be to your destruction. Yet when this this word, this truth is out now. OK, because all you Israelites heard about you being an Israelite and you looked into it in, in some form or fashion and either you accepted it or you rejected it. OK. I want to go to Deuteronomy 28. Okay. And let me get this verse. One one moment. I mean, this whole chapter, you could just read from 15. You can read the whole chapter, really. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become astonishment. A proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. OK, thou shalt carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but a little in for the locust shall consume. I mean, you you're you're, you're steady. You're going to still uh, uh, um, you're going to work hard. You're going to, you know, do what, you know, the, the government said that you got to do to be successful. Do what all these celebrities say to be successful. OK, uh, give your heart to the company. And you're going to bring in little, man. You're still going to be in that low level uh, situation. OK, because they hey, our people still trust in the shadow of eat. They still trust in the so-called white man. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but but shall neither drink of, of the wine, neither gather the grapes for the worm shall eat them. So you're not going to be successful in anything that you do. OK. And we're not we're not sent down here to be successful in this world. OK, because this is this is uh, Satan's world. OK, this is uh, the world of the Edomites and the other nations. Let me jump from there. Actually, I mean, we can keep reading some of those. curses. I just wanted to read some of those curses. How, how you, you know, we're not sent down here to prosper. OK. And, and and these are questions that, you know, we all had. All right. Um. Let me go to second Ezra. I believe it's second Ezra seven at the bottom. Hold on. Going into eight. Yeah, let me just go to actually eight. Second Ezra eight and one. And then I'll probably just close. There's just some, something, something quick, you know. This is not our world, man. We're not down here to uh, to prosper. Second Second Ezra eight and one. And he answered me, saying, the Most High has made this world for many, but the world to come for few. Right. That's our world. The world to come is uh, is our world. This is not our world. So you're, you're not going to prosper uh, in this world. Well, look at look at ye, right, formerly known as Kanye West. Right. He he so-called gained the whole world. Let me bring let me let me end it off on that, actually. Let me end it off on that. He so-called gained the whole world, but he still he still has an issue. Right. He still has an issue here. It is. He, he was he was boasting how he's worth 11 billion, the richest black man in history. Right. 
But why? Why does he still have an issue? Why does he feel like he's been wronged? OK, he's complaining to the media, to the people, you know, pouring his heart out, his heart out, talking about, you know, they took my children. You know, they did this on these deals. These people did this. These people did that. So that right there, it, does that sound like he's, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's he's in mirth. He, you know, he he made it or even at the highest level, he he still has an issue because we are not down here to prosper. This is not our world. And you jakes that cont uh, continually to trust in this place, you're going to be deceived. OK, well, the scriptures say, whoa, we, we open it up in Isaiah 31. Woe to them that trust in the shadow of Egypt. Matthews 16. And let me start at. Uh, in 24, then say, Yahweh shy unto his disciples, if any man will come after me. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And, and that means, you know, you got to deny your, your your wants, your your aspirations in this world, because really they're all vain. Just this example of these different celebrities that make it to the highest level, but they still have a complaint. And then you'll even see on certain videos. I remember Chris Brown, you know, even Bow Wow. They I remember Bow Wow. He spoke about how, you know, you know, he wish he he wish he could just be a regular person. He, you know, you know, the, the things that he went through and all these celebrities say the same thing. They go they have to go to rehab. OK, they bug out. OK, they they wait, be fluctuating. They all type of controversy. OK, some of them get locked up out of the blue. Look at uh, Bill Cosby, this so-called successful black man. OK, in his old his old age, they locked his ass up. OK, so you're not going to find any rest. Or any comfort here, Micah, uh, what is that, Micah 2, 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Okay, so we're not actually sent down here to rest and relax and, oh, we made it. And and, and, and think, hey, man, it's hell, man. Just, it's like, damn, man, you know. But, hey, this is this is the, the time for us to, to uh, you know, be in a state of mourning, be in a state of repentance, you know, and to come back to Yah Basham al Shai. And when you come back to Yah Basham al Shai, as we're, we're reading here, you gotta, you gotta deny yourself and take up your cross. That means you can't be that rapper you wanted to be. Because they're, hey, that you're, you're, uh, you're not meant for the master's use. He can't use you, uh, righteously as a, a tool, okay, uh, as a servant if you, if you're into the, the rap world. Because that rap world, who owns that? Amalek, the small hats. And what do they require? They require a, a wicked sacrifice. OK. You, they require a wicked sacrifice to maintain, to stay on that level and to maintain it. Or I should say to get on that level and maintain it. OK, but coming into this truth, seeking after Yah Basham al in his face, you got to you got to cut all that out. All your, you know, you wanted to be an athlete. You wanted to be this. You wanted to be that. OK, verse 25, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. See, so we we have uh, came into this thing. The most High has called us and many are called few are chosen. We have to endure to the end. But we we have been called into this thing to deny ourselves and, and really ultimately to give up our life willingly to Yahweh Shai. Because really our life is Yahweh Shai's. OK, we're bought with a price. OK. So really, as uh, Romans, the 12th chapter, our reasonable service, this is reasonable to come into this thing and to be used righteously as, um, you know, uh, uh, whether you're a prophet or help uh, uh, evangelist. OK, apostle. OK, a teacher. OK, you know, somebody that just brings water, you know, somebody, you know, a believer, ultimately. And your life, your, your life, as you know it, you don't you're not going to have a life no more. <laughs> People going to separate themselves from you. You're going to be persecuted. OK, you're going to be shunned. Give me one second. You're going to be afflicted. You're going to be poor. OK, Yahweh Shai even said that he, he made himself poor so we can be rich because he could have came on a level. Right. When they came to him and, and, and for pretty much for the taxes and he said, hey, go, go, go. Um, I said, go cast a net, go cast a net out. Right. And then grab a fish. And there's going to be a coin 
in the a gold coin in the fish mouth. So he had the power, and that was just to the, the, the show his power. He didn't have, he didn't have to do all that the, the, all that theatrics, okay? But that was to show his power. So he could ultimately he could have made money, he could have made gold, he could have came he could have came in, uh, uh, you know, with power, right? But that's not he's not coming in with power. He didn't he didn't he didn't come in uh, uh, powerful back then. He came in lowly, man. So likewise us. We we're here lowly of no reputation. OK, the base things, the, uh, the 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 filthy things of this world as they consider it. OK, the lowly things that as in this world. OK. Um, where am I? Uh, verse 26 for what? Is, and this is the, the point I wanted to start up for what is a man's prop for what is a man's profit? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, because it really it, 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 it narrows down to the 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 return of the Lord, which we're in that time where he's going to come back It narrows down to maintaining your your uh, integrity for the second coming for the second death. So you can be set up eternally. That's the thing. We, we're fighting for an eternal crown. This, this is not just, you know, you make it to the highest level, whether boxing, whether entertainment. And it's always entertainment. You see what I'm saying? It's not like it's anything else than entertainment. It's always, you know, an a entertainer, a rapper, a, a, co a comedian, a, you know, a movie star, an athlete. It's nothing, you know, a, a so-called so global leader, you know, that's in charge of hundreds of, bil you know, mil billions of people in, you know, industry, you know, owning uh, gold mines or a military not a military, uh, 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 a real estate tycoon or some type, you know what I mean? Like a, like a banker, like the Rothschilds or something like that, or a scientist. It's always what? Entertainment. So that shows you that the, 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 the game is rigged. They only want you in one, one corner. Okay. And they control all that. The people that are up in those positions, they, they're controlled. And anytime they, they, they get out of line, you already know what happens. Okay. So what what is a man's profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Because to get in those positions, you you have you have to do acts that are against Yah Bashem Yah Shai that are against the Bible. Okay. Furthermore, your your time is occupied in something that the Most High hates. Okay, that something that the Most High doesn't doesn't find profitable unto him. Okay, we're we're supposed to be teaching this truth. Waking up the uh, the hopeful elect or preaching the word so the most I can wake up the hopeful elect. OK, ultimately for the end to come, we weren't created to, you know, be professional boxers, be be entertainers, be uh, movie stars or, 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 you know, you wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. OK, sir, sir, Jake's, they fight, they fight their whole life just to be a lawyer, to be a doctor. And then they finally make it. And it's not really what they it's all it's not really what they wanted. They still they're still in that, you know, um, that really that sorrowful state. There is still in that oppress, oppressive state. But they have that money. They have, you know, some type of, you know, glory in this world to, to where they can suppress it. You see what I'm saying? They have the ability to, you know, please the flesh so they can kind of suppress those feelings. OK, but it's really woe unto you because. You did all that, but you lost your soul, your soul now. Now, now you're going to have your head now in the kingdom. Now you now you're going to be destroyed. You're either going to die of famine. You're going to die by the sword or you're going to die through, the, uh, you know, this thermonuclear war. You might get sent out there to, to, to the war okay? because the draft is coming back. And lose his own soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his own soul? For the son of man shall come in the glory of his father. With his angels, right? When the, when Yahweh Shai comes back, okay, he's coming back in his glory, and 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 what does the scripture say that we're also going to be glorified with him? Okay, at, when we as we suffer with him, we're going to be glorified with him. Okay, that's the uh, the trade off. And then shall and then he shall reward every man according to his work. See, and what was your work? A rapper, or you wanted to be a doctor, or you just a regular. Uh, just a regular Jake or you a hood boy. OK, barely I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste death till they see the son of man coming in his kingdom. Right. So you're going to have certain men that's not going to die. 
Okay, that, that applied to back then, and it's going to apply now. So I'm going to close it out. All praise to y'all. Bashim al Until next time, shalom to the elect.